on it. So another video I'm going to do here. Uh, Kyle from All Meter Views .blogspot.com with my with my Agua, my H2O. Just going to show some a couple of vinyls I got recently. I mentioned in my preview video a couple weeks back, uh, East of the Wall, uh, putting out a, a split EP or single rather, seven inch. I finally got got that in the mail. I finally received it. It's with this band called Cryptodira. And um, they're, they're, the song that East Wall did is called Riverman. Uh, that's on the B side. Uh, but let me pull it out here. East of the Wall being a sort of progressive post metal band of sorts. Um, but Cryptodira does a song called Speaking the Ocean, which I think is an original. But the East of the Wall song is a, a cover of a Nick Drake song. So, an interpretation, very different, I guess, if you listen to the. Uh, the, uh, but it's blue, cool looking. So anyway, uh, East of the Wall, you know, I'm hoping we'll put out something new. The last record I I wasn't all all that into, but the one before that, The Apologist, which I showed in the last, was the last video I, I, when I talked about them, was just one of my favorite records that year. So, And this cover they did was <laughs> much of the same, or at least of the quality of the, uh, the caliber. So... Um, but yeah, and the Cryptodira record, I don't, I mean, Cryptodira is a band and the song, maybe I'll be able to do another video or talk about it on the blog at some point, because I have not gotten around to listening to, of course, this EP. And, you know, I actually need to, I should probably send them an email or something if I, I didn't, I don't remember getting a, a download. Of course, <laughs> the sleeve they sent me now doesn't want to work. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so I got a couple other records in, in the mail. I'm still expecting some stuff. One being uh, a record that I, I've been a fan of for a number of years, the band uh, Ramona Falls. And funny how that works. There's a little teeny bit of damage on this, but what can you do? I guess I talked to Brenton off a few years ago about when I got his other record, the new record that they put out, Profit. Profit, I think it was? I believe it was called Profit. Um, about this record, and he said they were out of print, that the only place you could get them is, is to import them. But I found them. I found it on one of the sites, and it wasn't outrageously expensive. I think, I think it was like $20, $25, something like that. So, gatefold, you know, standard. This is the debut record from Ramona Falls, called Intuit, I-N-T-U-I-T. -I um, but yeah, I compared to the, the profit, I kind of look at both the records about equal. I think that Prophet has a couple of songs that are better than anything on here, but this record is beginning to end and maybe as good, if not better, in terms of consistency. So, yeah, glad to find this. I wish I could find the first Menomino record on uh, on vinyl. Uh, I Am the Fun Blame Monster, but that thing I've just been searching, and it's not available at this point. I need to continue to look. But yeah, uh, Bretnoff left Menomino back in 2011 to 2011, yeah, to do Ramona Falls full time, and he's working on a new record, so, you know, hopefully we can talk more about him in the near future, hopefully in, in 2015 sometime, so, and then here's another record I got on vinyl, a pretty affordable price, this is from a, uh, a musician named Nicholas Krigovich, K-R, as you can see, K-R-G-O-V-I-C-H, um, I think he's from California, because a lot of the songs talk about being in sort of the Southern California area, and um, the album's called On Sunset. Um, and I've listened to it, I don't know, three or four times, and really enjoy it. I, I posted something on the blog about it uh, like a week ago. Um, the first couple songs specifically, I would say, are, stand out the most. And then there's one song toward the end at Pershing Square, I think it is. The outro to that's really, really dreamy. But um, the one that got on the radio... It talks about uh, PCH, along the PCH on Oscar night. So, how would I compare his music, or who would I compare his music? I mean, mentioned in the blog, I talked about like TV on the radio and something like that. But it's sort of it's art pop with soulful kind of vocals, a lot of sort of like piano and um, nothing extremely busy, but um, still well thought out. And um, yeah, I mean, it's more about art than than entertainment, I think. And I don't know, it seems like it's, it's very sensitive about how, like, living out there, sort of being on the outside looking in the entertainment industry, that's one perception I got from it, but, I don't know, it's a record that I probably listen to a few uh, more over the next couple of years and maybe appreciate more, depending on 
you know, <laughs> where it goes. But anyway, that's all I've got for the last couple weeks. But uh, more vinyl keeps on coming in. More CDs keep on coming in. I'll maybe make another video for that in the, the t meantime. Stay psyched. <laughs>